Artificial intelligence is becoming more ingrained in our everyday lives and a more intrusive aspect of it. It's in almost everything, communications, technology, research, and so much more. But in finance and investing, well, now it is. In this video, I want to go over some of the ways that artificial intelligence is being integrated into finance and introduce you to the ETF that is taking artificial intelligence into the world of investing. Hey everybody, welcome back to Dollars and Cents, helping you make sense of making dollars. Remember, if you like the informational investing content on this channel, to like and subscribe. With that, let's get into it. Artificial intelligence is being integrated into investing at an incredible pace. I recently came across a research paper published in 2019 from Deloitte that goes over some of the uses of AI in the investing world. If you want to read the full paper, I have left it in the description below. However, I'm going to go over the paper right now. The paper describes four pillars upon which artificial intelligence is being built for the investing world. The first pillar is generating alpha. In this instance and in investing, alpha is often used to describe an advantage that a certain investing strategy has. Saying your goal is to generate alpha is another way of saying that you want to generate an edge over other investing strategies. AI helps to generate alpha by sifting through massive quantities of data and information on companies, fast. The AI then can use the information and data it finds to create a financial model of any given company and how it could move forward and be a potentially good investment or not. Whereas a team of human analysts would need time to sift through data and then build financial models. An AI could feasibly replace them in mere minutes. The second pillar is enhancing operational efficiency. As opposed to people, AI is cheaper and easier to operate. Machines replace humans more and more. It's an unfortunate truth many who have lost their jobs to progress have had to face. Companies love it. More and more turn to AIs and machines for their cost efficiency, including financial companies. Competition could be the driving force between the switch from AI to people as well. Robinhood led the way into low-cost trading by eliminating their fees for investing. This has prompted many companies to also cut back on their hefty trading fees. Many of these companies would then seek to cut costs elsewhere to make up the difference. The third pillar is the improvement of customer products. It's possible that at some point you've heard the term robo-advisor. If not, that's okay, because a robo-advisor is exactly how it sounds. A robo-advisor is an artificial intelligence program to account for a client's risk tolerance and financial goals to create an investment portfolio best suited to that individual. With a small fee, anywhere from 0.2% to 0.5% of said client's total balance, these artificial advisors give the everyday guy the ability to invest safely, whether or not he knows much about investing. The fourth and final pillar is risk management. Ever hear the saying, everyone makes mistakes? Well, people make mistakes, but machines make less. Thus, there's less risk with a machine calling the shots. Since machines and AI consume massive quantities of data and information even faster than people, AIs can build risk models for companies by incorporating all known data points for that particular company. Morningstar, which I've mentioned in several past videos, actually uses AI. If you've ever found yourself on Morningstar and noticed a Q attached to a fair value estimate, it means an AI has deduced it. These are the four pillars that Deloitte's research paper describes when discussing AI in the financial world. So why do I mention all this stuff? Well, it's got a lot to do with a very specific ETF. At the beginning of this video, I mentioned an ETF that's making waves in the financial world using artificial intelligence for investing. That ETF is AIEQ. Offered from the firm ETF Managers, AIEQ is an ETF managed by artificial intelligence, not people. The AI built using IBM's Watson mimics a team of 1,000 research analysts working around the clock analyzing millions of data points each day, according to the ETF Managers website. AIEQ invests in stocks that, using its artificial machine brain, determines will do well. Here are its top current holdings. At the top of the list is Tesla, the stock that never goes down. Other notable holdings include Moderna, AMD, and Alphabet, the parent company to Google. An interesting fact about this computer-run ETF, 5% of its funds are in cash, making its cash balance technically the largest holding in the portfolio. AIEQ builds its financial models based on collected data points to try and predict a company's future performance, and it's been getting better over time. Since its inception in October of 2017, the ETF has returned 66%. This beats the S&P 500's return of 54%, and beats the Dow Jones' return of 37%. 
The only major index it doesn't beat is the Nasdaq's incredible 113% return since October 2017. In its first year, AIEQ returned around 8%. The second year, it returned around negative 4%. However, since then, the ETF's third year, it's returned a little over 22%. Now, since October 2020, AIEQ has returned 28%. An astounding pace for sure. Another general note about this ETF is that its expense ratio is 0.75%, which is becoming the new average for actively managed funds. Basically, you'll be charged $0.75 cents for every $100 you invest in order to hold the fund. This is compensation for the fund manager. I guess you could say that's the team working on the tech behind the ETF's artificial brain. The ETF also has $162 million in assets under management, or AUM, the total amount of money that investors have bought from this ETF. Really, in the grand scheme of things, this ETF is still relatively unknown. Stacked up against ARK Invest's ARKK, which has over $26 billion in AUM, AIEQ just doesn't stack up. Even comparing it to other funds offered by ETF managers, which host billions in AUM, AIEQ also doesn't really stack up. However, that doesn't mean that AIEQ is bad, it could just mean that people haven't heard of it or don't really know about its innovative nature. Finally, as I wrap up, do I think it's worth investing in? Absolutely. The AI technology in this ETF really interests me, as well as the fact it's getting better over time. Like any AI, it's constantly learning. While I won't become the largest holding in my portfolio, AIEQ will still maintain a decent portion of it, maybe around 5%. More than anything, I believe that you should do your own research if you're interested in investing in AIEQ. I've got a link in the description you can check out to start. Of course, I'm no expert, and AIEQ could certainly fall flat over the next years and end up a terrible mistake. However, I am confident in the technology enough to invest. Remember, machines make fewer mistakes. With that, I hope to see all of you in the next episode of Dollars and Cents.